Hey everybody, it's Jared from sportsannouncing.com. Uh, just going over the Nevco Hockey Controller. This is a wireless controller that Nevco has started to put in a lot of ice rinks all throughout the country and around the world. So we're going to give you a little tutorial on how to run it. Right now there's nothing up on the scoreboard. The time's at zero, period's blank. So is the home score and the home shots. So the first thing we're going to do is you get ready to start a game. You're going to put three minutes up on the clock for the warm-up. So you'll press set. Then you'll press time. Now one thing about the Nevco is that once you get to the colon, you don't need to enter in any zeros after it. So zero, three, hit yes, and you've already got three minutes up on the scoreboard. To set your period, just press period, which is down here in the lower right. Zero because you're in warm up. Home score, zero. Guest score, zero. And the same for the shots on goal, which are right down here on the left side zero and zero. We'll go over a little bit later how to reset any numbers that may already be up on the scoreboard, but for right now that's the way you get it started if there's nothing up on the scoreboard. To go back to the time display, you'll just press time. You see it comes up with the time and the period, so that way you can track that all throughout the game. Now to start and stop, we'll grab the, the switch, which is right here. You see it has the green button, that means it's connected. This button right here is to blow the horn. You do not need to blow the horn at any time. This has an auto horn on it, so when it runs down to zero, you'll be able to have the horn go off without you having to worry about it. Now this controller, it is set already started, so we have to stop it. You see here, it stopped. We'll flip the switch, and that starts the clock. We're gonna stop the clock right there. We have a shot on goal for the home team. Most likely gonna happen fairly quickly. You'll just hit home shot or guest shot if it's for the visiting team. You see here it says zero plus. Whatever number you type in here off the number pad is gonna be added to that number right there. So they take one shot, press one. Now all of a sudden there's a flurry of rebounds. Two more shots go up on the board. You see it says one plus two, simple math. You now have three shots up on the scoreboard. Team scores on that second shot. You'll wait until the referee comes over to report whether or not it's a good goal. They report the goal scorer, then the assist, and the secondary assist. At that time, you'll press score. This is for the home team. One, now the home team's up one nothing. Obviously, if it's for the visiting team, you'll do the same thing but for the visitor shots and the visitor score. So right here is the home shots, goal shots, guest goal shots and you'll hear the terms visitor away uh, guest you'll hear all those terms those all reply to the same team the home team is all going to be the same no matter what home score is up here visitor guest away score is down here now say that we put the score up on the wrong side we mentioned earlier we're going to show you how to do this to reset anything that's when we use the set key so we're going to reset this to zero so set Home score, zero. And it goes to zero up on the scoreboard at the same time. We'll hit set, home shots, zero. And that also goes up to zero up on the scoreboard. Now we get to the part that every parent, every scoreboard operator, every novice is just absolutely terrified with. That is penalties. That's right, penalties. So it's actually fairly simple. We'll take you through it step by step. You're going to be setting a penalty on the scoreboard. Remember set, you're setting the penalty. So set, new minor, and it doesn't matter if you hit new minor or new major. You'll type in the player number. Now if it's a single digit like four, just press four and yes. Type in zero two for two minute penalty. Yes, and now it's up on the scoreboard. We're going to set another penalty. Say you're playing three and a, you're playing minute and a half penalties. You notice here it's on four. Don't worry about that. Type in 23 or whatever the number is. Zero, one, three. Don't need that zero there. Now you have two penalties on the scoreboard. Which penalty are you looking at? How do you change it? Just hit U penalty which is right here, it goes between home penalty number one, home penalty number two. 
We're going to start the clock. We're going to let it run down for a little bit. And now what happens when a goal is scored and you have to take it off the scoreboard? So first the visitor gets a shot. Visitor gets a goal because the referee just reported it. Now, once the referee has reported it, this is when you would take the penalty off the scoreboard. Otherwise, you can run into a, a whole lot of problems later on. So you'll just press View Penalty, which is right here in the middle. Is it going to be H1 or H2? Now, since they both won at the same time, that's called the captain's choice. But for this sake, what we're going to say is this was the first penalty up that we put on because there's a, a minute 26 left. The other one has a minute 56 left. So you'll press view penalty until the penalty you want to delete comes up. Then over here, you'll press clear penalty. That's it. It comes right off the scoreboard. That's it. There's no more buttons. Hit time to reset yourself. You're fine. So do that again. View penalty. This is the penalty we want to delete. Clear penalty right here. And that's it. Hit time, take it back to the time on the scoreboard, and you're all good. Shots on goal, we talked about that. Say that you accidentally have 23 shots for the home team, you want to make it 21. Just a little refresher for you. Set. Goal shots, 2-1. Now, they, say they take four shots right after that. Home shots. Plus four equals 25. So that's how you get up to there. You get down to zero on the clock at the end of the warm up, end of the period. This is going to be how you're going to set your clock. Set, time, 15 minute period, one, five, yes. This is always when I set the period, so then I'll hit period, one. Hit the end of the period, set, time. Zero, one for the one minute intermission. And then you just start the clock from there. You'll reset the period when you reset the period time. There's a lot of other buttons that are on this controller. This penalty on off button right here, this is what will stop the penalty time from running if you have penalty times up on the clock during the intermission. I suggest when you get in, you see if it's active. If it's not, don't worry about it. Just keep in mind on that so you don't accidentally set the time later on. That's more of an advanced thing. We can show you how to do that later, but for right now, that's all you need to worry about. The only other buttons that you need to worry about are horn, which is right here. This will sound the horn. There's a practice going on, so I don't want to blow the horn right now. Yes and no, or enter and cancel. You type in something, like we said with the time, hit yes or enter. It's the same thing. Nevco's trying to make things a little bit simpler for everybody and we think that they did with this one. Once again, this is Jared with sportsannouncing.com. If you have any questions about it, you can feel free to send me an email at dj at sportsannouncing.com. You can also find me on the web at sportsannouncing.com or on um, Facebook also at sportsannouncing.com. So you can find us pretty much anywhere. Be more than happy to help you out and hope you have some great time and have a great hockey season.